Hey guys, what is up? I have the new Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Balms and I am so excited to try them for you guys today. I got three of the most popular colors. I'm gonna try them on my lips and I'm gonna swatch them for you guys so you guys can see what shades you want and whether you think it is worth the money. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. What is up guys? My name is Michelle Valley. I am the makeup tester and I help you make better purchasing decisions, all beauty things related. If you love makeup reviews, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. And guys, this video is part of a series. So if you're interested in all the Lawless Forget the Filler products and you wanna know which to buy, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe because I'm, today I'm doing the bombs, next week I'm gonna be doing the glosses, then I'm gonna be doing the lip mask. So if you're curious to know which you should buy, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe. If at any point you decide that you like some of these products, don't forget to use the uh, links down below in the description box because it doesn't give me much on each sale, but it gives me something. So if you're going to buy the products anyways, and you want to help me out, then make sure that you're using the link. I will also say that this video is not sponsored. I bought these with my own money just because I have links. doesn't mean that it's sponsored. It's just because I use like, it's, it's called, hmm, should I get into it? Is there a point in getting into it? Basically, anyone can have affiliate links through this thing called like to know it. So you can be anyone, you can make yourself a link and then you can earn commissions off those sales. So just wanna let you know that that's something I am doing for myself, but this company did not pay me to talk about these products. Let's get into it. Okay, first, let me take off my lip liner. I feel like that's a waste of a makeup wipe, so I'm just gonna put this back in the packaging. So this product comes in seven shades. I have three of the seven. These are vegan, plumping, a clean formula at Sephora. They have a high shine finish, they're hydrating, and they're cruelty free. So this balm is supposed to give you a very cushiony lip. It's not gonna be a lip plumper like a lip injection, like that Too Faced one. It's not gonna give you like huge results, but it's supposed to just kind of smooth your lines and give you kind of like a, a pillowy lip. It's kind of a balm, it's kind of a treatment, and it's gonna give you a slight tint to the lips, so it's not gonna be super opaque, it's just kind of like a balm. So I'm looking at the list of ingredients. It's got some pretty interesting ingredients like ginger root extract, it has shea butter, sunflower seed wax, jojoba seed oil. It has a list of all these ingredients that it is formulated without, which is really cool. Like mineral oils, animal fats, that kind of a thing. This guy retails for $34, guys. That is a pricey, price tag. <laughs> That's a hefty price tag for a bomb. So this better be like amazing for that price tag because that is pretty luxury from a bomb, especially when you can get a Burt's Bees for a few bucks. That's my personal opinion. My hip flexors are dead. My hip flexors are not doing good. Okay, let's start with our first color and this is called Pink Marshmallow. So this guys comes in an aluminum tube. Aluminum and glass are the most recyclable materials, so this brand cares. In terms of the weight of the product, this is really light. It doesn't feel like those heavy luxury Chanel lipsticks or anything like that. This is just kind of like, Okay, so let's take a look at this. And this is a beautiful color. It kind of reminds me of the Dior Lip Glow. That is what this color is giving. It smells extremely fruity. It smells really fruity. It kind of reminds me of my childhood. Kind of smells like Barbie, but it kind of smells sour too, like a sour candy. But just right off the bat, I can tell that this formula is like very sheer because I can kind of even see through the bullet in the light, if that makes any sense. So I'm really excited to see what this is gonna look like on the lips. Kind of cute. Right away, it is kind of minty. It is not thick, it's not goopy, it's not sticky, it's not wet. It really just feels like a lip balm. So. I don't know, what was it, $34? That's kind of crazy for a lip balm. I'm gonna leave this on the lips for a little bit just to see if it gives me a plumping effect, and then I'll come right back. This balm is really unique because it gives you a high shine. When they say cushiony and pillowy, they really mean it. My lips look like model lips. <laughs> so even though this came on pretty much clear, this, what was it called, pink marshmallow? Yeah, pink marshmallow. Even though it came on pretty clear, it does have like a tiny bit of pink. It kind of made my lips feel a little bit more white girl, even though I am a brown girl. I'm excited to try the next one, because right now, I'm not getting any color payoff, really. It just kind of looks like a bomb, you know? Okay, the next color we're gonna try is called Georgie. This is kind of like a rosy brown. This is kind of a sand brown mixed with the rosy. It's kind of dusty, it's kind of terracotta. I wonder how well this is gonna show up on the lips. Okay, so this is what it's looking like with one coat. It's kind of giving a nice dusting of color on the lips, but it's sheer, right? I'm not seeing too much color payoff. So 
I'm also, guys, not seeing too much gloss on this one. What do you think? This is kind of looking like a little matte in comparison to the other one. So let me try layering this and see how well it layers. Okay, now I'm starting to see it. You really do have to slather it on. I just put on like 50,000 coats and it's starting to build up really nicely. I can see myself going through these bullets really fast just because you do have to put a lot on in order to get like a glossy mirrored look. Okay, what do you guys think? Because it's not as pillowy as the pink marshmallow one, right? It's just kind of like not as juicy and wet and delicious and high shine. I'm liking pink marshmallow as a shade the best so far. So this is what it looks like on the lips. That was a pretty color. And the last color that I have here is Baby Doll. This is like a Barbie pink. Remember when that cool tone pink MAC cream cup or something? It wasn't called cream cup. It. Let me know in the comment section down below if you know what that bright pink MAC lipstick everyone was wearing in 2017 was, or like even earlier, like was it 2008? When did the YouTube makeup guru era pop off? Whenever that was, do you guys remember that bright pink lipstick? It was like a very, it was very this, okay? Do you guys know what I mean? This is the color Baby Doll and I, I don't know, I wanted to go out of my comfort zone because I don't usually go for these bright Barbie pinks because I am a tanned woman. But I was like, let me try it. And I think that I've made a mistake. So we're gonna see how this looks on the lips. That is super cool tone. And this is not the vibe. This is not the vibe for me. That's only one coat. So let's try to layer it up and see if we can make it even uglier. I kind of look like a Fruit Loop. I kind of look like I'm having a midlife crisis and I'm dropping my kids off at soccer and they call me on their iPhone 14 to pick them up, but they don't ask me to pick them up. They, they like scream, come pick me up, mom. This is not a flattering color and it makes me look like I am going through midlife crisis. Not for me. If you're a very fair person and you have, um, like cool undertones, I think this would be flattering, but I don't like this. You know why I don't like this? Cause right now I know it looks good in studio lights, like it looks good enough, but in real life, when I will step out into the sun, it's just gonna clash so hard with my complexion. So I, I, I see what's gonna happen and I don't, don't like what I'm seeing down the road. You know what I'm saying? I know I see what's gonna happen down the road and I don't like the vision. But one thing I will say is that it does make my lips look very pillowy. Georgie was less so, like less high shine, and this is a little bit, it's giving more um. So what I was saying is that if you were a cool tone person, you are gonna like this for sure. It's gonna be flattering for you. If you're neutral to warm, I would say do not get baby doll. This is not, this color is not made for you. You were not the target audience that they had in mind. Here are my final thoughts. I feel kind of mid about them. For me, when I put on a gloss, I know these aren't a gloss, but when I put on something with a high shine, I want gloss. When I put on something matte, I want it to be matte, but this just kind of felt like it was somewhere in the middle. Like it wasn't giving me the glass and the glossy mirror-like finish that I would create from a lip balm, and it's obviously not matte, so it's just like kind of not, wasn't one for me, it wasn't for me. But what I will say is that this brand is amazing. Guys, if you don't know about Lawless, let me tell you. This brand is so, focused on making their products clean. That is like their main focus with their ingredients. They're also really focused on making products that have skincare ingredients weaved into their makeup. And if you're a makeup enthusiast, I feel like you're gonna love this brand because they really target people that are looking for performance out of their makeup products. Whether you want like a very sheer, chill look, you can get that. Or if you want something that has pigment and packs a punch, both of those types of products that they sell are gonna deliver on what they promise. Annie is the founder of Lawless Beauty and she noticed that makeup was like, if it was clean, it wasn't good. So you either had to choose between one or the other. And she decided to create Lawless because she wanted to create products that had clean ingredients, but that actually worked and actually were pigmented and performed well and lasted long in the skin and all things that we look for in makeup. So Annie is an entrepreneur who has been wildly successful with this brand. It's carried at Sephora, it's carried everywhere. They have their own e-commerce store and they are absolutely killing it. I think that she's coming from a really good place because she's conscious about ingredients. She really cares about the environment. Hopefully this review is helpful and helped you make a better purchasing decision. If you saw them on my lips and you're like, I don't, I just like them, then get them. You know what I mean? Cause they, they kind of did look good on my lips. But yeah, if you do decide to get them, don't forget to use the links in my description box because like I said, it helps me out a little bit in terms of the commission that I make on the sales. And I hope you found this video helpful. Oh, if you want to see how I feel about the Forget the Filler glosses, that is going to be in an upcoming video. 
next week, so make sure that you're hitting subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.